Hey guys, it's Mark from ShopKit. I'm recording this in my home in Sydney um, and I have in front of me a bag by a company named Wotancraft uh, which is based in Taiwan. Uh, they hand make all their products and this bag that I have here is the Commander. Um, it's a beautiful Swiss Army uh, World War II inspired backpack that's constructed out of wax canvas and um, this incredible cowhide leather that's been um, stained with some uh, vegetable oil, I, I understand, um, that gives it this um, very durable, hard-wearing coating. Um, I've just filled this bag up with um, a few few items just so that you can get an idea of how much it can actually hold. Uh, if I just stand it up for you, uh, you can have a good look at it. Um, it's an amazing looking bag. Um, I could see myself using this just day to day, uh, not for cam not for any camera gear, and that's where it's actually um, that's what one of the things that I like about it, the way that it's constructed. Uh, on the inside, it's divided into two sections. So there's a zippable uh, compartment, uh, almost like a lid. Um, I'll show you in a second, but you unzip it on the inside and it gives you access to this lower compartment. And then the upper compartment is totally separate if you decide to have that lid uh, closed. So it's like a compartment cover rather than a lid. Um, and then you can actually open it up, unzip it on the inside, and then it becomes one big um, backpack. So. If, for example, you were going traveling and you didn't want to take any camera gear with you and you just wanted to use this as a backpack, then I think it would serve really well because you can open it all the way up and um, obviously put whatever you want in like uh, this this high. Um, I'll put the dimensions on the website uh, on the post so that you can see exactly, but um, you know you can get a good idea of how big it is compared to me. Now, I'll just open it up and show you um, bit by bit about this amazing bag. There's a lot to it. There's um, many pockets, as you can see, uh, zippered pockets um, on the side of the bag and on the front. Uh, you would have to use this a, you know, a few times, like with all bags, just to get used to it because the pockets are all over the place and they give access to different parts of the bag. So um, it might be something that you're not used to, but they're not necessarily pockets to store things, but they're also pockets that give you access to the interior, um, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but this is one of the, um, the side zippers that you can actually put your hand in and my hand's going into the inside of the bag and then we have another zipper on the side here um, that I use just to keep some business cards in um, so that just runs um, like that you can see compared to my hand how big that is um, and then on the other side we have um, this is a, a key ring that Wotan Craft attaches to, to its bags. It's just a nice touch. It says that you uh, detach it before, um, remove before adventure. Um, uh, Wotan Craft has this, uh, the theme of adventure running through all of their products. Um, and clearly the, the inspiration from this, that military, uh, like rugged, hard wearing, high quality, timeless design uh, that runs through all of the Wotan Craft products. Um, okay, so going back, um, going back to the pockets, we have another one on this side. Uh, what do I have in there? I've got a torch in there. Um, that runs. It's a bit hard to show you, but it runs all the way to uh, the all the way across the front of the bag. So I guess you could put um, an iPad Mini in there. I, I think yeah, it's about the right size. Um, a book, a moleskin book, or whatever you want. I've just got a torch in there for now, but you can fill that however you want. Um, and then the front of the bag, uh, these strong metal um, hooks, uh, I don't know, you could hang off your key ring. It's just the, the uh, possibilities are limitless, of course, whatever, however you want to use this. I haven't found a, a reason to hang anything off this as yet, but um, good, moving on, we've got this front pocket. Uh, I just keep uh, my mag mod in here. Um, but I guess the size, you could keep a flash in there, a speed light, it's that kind of size. I'll just put this back in here. Okay, I just want to show you the back before we go any further because this is absolutely incredible what they've done with the straps here. Um, I was reading about the, the leather that they use. So it's a cow um, cowhide and it's been um, stained, as I said before, with uh, vegetable oil just to give it this. Um, just to give it the look and also to make it more durable. Uh, and these leather uh, straps here, they've been, um, they've been cut in a curved 
they've been cut curved and they've been um, sand, sanded down so it's just it's hard to sh um, show you just how beautiful they are but it's uh, the craftsmanship's incredible like I said before it's all handmade and you can just tell um, there's no imperfections in anything which is why I found it hard to believe that they were handmade um, to start with but it's just the attention to detail is incredible um, and the reason that it's been curved in this way is so that they can fix it to this um, the metal uh, loop in the middle and it just balances the bag perfectly um, I'll put it on in a second so you can see how it looks on my back um, but yeah, it's just a thing of beauty really, just from the back, from all angles, um, it's just a great looking camera bag. Okay, so moving on, I forgot to mention we've got a uh, pocket on the top here, um, I use that, uh, what have I got in there, I've got a light, uh, some flash triggers, spare batteries, it's quite a sizable pocket, I like the one on the top, um, it's very easy uh, access, so put it put in there whatever you want to. Alright, so moving on, just to show you the top of the bag here. Um, I'm going to open this up for you. Now as you can see these round things here are magnets. Uh, they are there so that you can fold this back on itself. Um, so on the inside we have these inserts. So these are made with a very high density padding um, to protect whatever you decide to put in there. Um, just as an example I've put in um, a camera body. Uh, I'm going to take it out actually. Uh, and another camera body and it's going to be a bit hard to show you uh, but on the inside you use these velcro uh, dividers to arrange the insert however you want um, so I haven't got it divided at the moment but um, it's the same with most camera bags um, you use the velcro to divide the inside and protect whatever's in there so I'll just take that out for now so I can show you what I was talking about at the start which were which was the um, that flat thing um, which divides the, the top of the bag with the bottom of the bag. On the side we have these pockets now they look like uh, something that you know just a regular pocket but it's actually a way for you to get up to the inside of the bag now I think this is a great idea I've seen some other camera companies uh, some other bag manufacturers sorry doing this as well but I think Wotencraft have just um, done it in a way that uh, really works um, while the camera bag is on your back so I'm going to show you this before putting it on my, my back um, just how just what I'm talking about so if we undo one of these that gives us access to the inside bottom compartment. Um, so at the moment I've got in there a couple of lenses on one side. Uh, oops. All right. A flash, another flash. Now these compartments are pretty big. You can fit, uh, you know, there's infinite possibilities of what you can put in there, but um, I understand that it's the right size for a 70 to 200 lens, for example, just to give you an idea of the height and the depth there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've got a couple of flashes, a couple of lenses. Um, and then on the other side, this is where you can keep your camera. So I've got my. Um, body uh, with a lens attached to it here, let me just slip that out for you, um, this camera bag can hold up to two DSLR um, bodies, um, six lenses, this is all the, the details that I found on the website, um, and a couple of flashes, accessories, and there's a, a MacBook, a space for a, sorry, a laptop on the back as well, I'll pull that out for you now. Um, I find the camera bag reviews a, a bit hard because uh, not hard, but it's difficult to talk about how much you can fit in them because obviously it's different for everyone. So whilst I've said there that this camera bag fits in two camera bodies, obviously if you use it in a different way, you could probably fit, you know, tw I'd say about 10 camera bodies in there. Um, you could fit like 15 lenses in there as well. It depends on how you use it, but I know on their website, Wotencraft had said um, two camera bodies, uh, up to six lenses and so on and so on. You can read anyway, but I just wanted to show you an example of how I use um, this bag. You can use these straps on the front here 
um, to fasten a tripod across the front. Obviously if you do that you can't carry anything in this front pocket but you just loosen these straps here and that gives you enough play so that you can slip a tripod or a uh, umbrella or a light stand or whatever it is across there, tighten them back up again and you're on your way. Okay, so I mentioned before on the side of the bag there were these pockets that give you access to the inside and the way that they work is if you were to be carrying your camera bag on the back like that, they give you access without removing the bag to your camera so you can just take it out like that, um, take a photo of whatever it is and then put it back in here it back up again and you're on your way. So I'll just put the camera, back, uh, sorry, the, the command up on for you just so you can get an idea of how it looks. Now these um, pads here are for the same kind of thing that you find in a shoe. Um, so it's kind of like a felty material um, and very nice padding. And due to the, those curved straps that I mentioned before and the central, central ring, um, it's actually very well balanced on my back. Um, very comfortable to carry. Just a very nice looking bag. Okay, so that's the Wotencraft Commander Backpack. Um, it is $699. Uh, as I said before, that is quite a high price for um, a camera bag for some people, and I totally understand that, but as I said before, it is, I do think it, it is worth it. Um, the Commander comes with a three-year warranty. Um, if anything goes wrong with the bag, which I really don't think that could happen because it's such so well made, um, so rugged and hard wearing, but if anything does go wrong with it, then Wotencraft will repair it free of charge. Um, so just running through the features very quickly again, it's a waxed canvas exterior, water resistant, uh, cowhide leather, um, vegetable um, stained to, to give it protection, and it's got these YKK um, zippers um, that are also rust proofed. Um, it's just a bomb proof bag that looks great and holds a lot of camera gear. So um, if you think $699 is a bit too pricey, then just consider the amount that you spend on your camera gear and how long Long, um, this will actually last. So in comparison to camera gear, it's, um, I think it's a worthwhile investment if you think of it as a, something that you're going to use for the rest of your life potentially. All right, great. So um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, go to the Wotan Craft website and check out all their products, not just the Commander. And um, hopefully I'll be back with another review soon.